Welcome to this week's edition of Tahoe Sportsline. I'm joined again with my esteemed colleague, Coach McLaughlin. Coach, good to see you. Sure, great to be here. And boy, do I have an incredible story involving March Madness. You know, in 1992, South Tahoe High School won the Nevada State Championships, ended up ranked number 19th in the nation. And on that team was one of the play coaches who's now coaching in the March Madness. Absolutely. His name was Jared Haas. Jared also went on to play for Kansas in 96-97, where they were number one rated team in the country uh, for a good part of the season. Uh, we're awfully proud of Jared Haas and uh, the Lake Tahoe representation. You know, it's amazing. He was actually nominated for the Naismith Player of the Year and the Wooden Player of the Year at Kansas. And then he got hired at UAB recently, where he is now the head coach of the UAB Blazers. You know, Coach, i got to put this plug in for you. He's not the only Division I coach out there in oh. the college ranks. Who's the other one? Your son. Oh, that's right. Shout out to my son, Sean. But I do have a question for you. Do you know where Jared started his career? Jared played with another uh, very talented player at Cal Berkeley, uh, Jason Kidd. That's correct. Now, here's the trivia question. What is it Cal Berkeley fans have in common with Lake Tahoe TV? Ooh, that's a tough one, Coach. We've been talking about it for a couple months now. They can watch us in their home market at Cal Berkeley on Channel 104 on Comcast Cable. How about that? All right. March Madness. Let's start talking about things. We're going to talk about who we think is going to make the Sweet 16 out of each region. First, the Midwest. The obvious picks, Kentucky and Notre Dame. But the Wildcats will play number 12 seed Buffalo, while this number 7 seed Wichita State will ups up Kansas who constantly ducks scheduling the Shockers, and they will play in that group as well. Coach, I agree with you. Kentucky, Notre Dame, no-brainers, uh, and so are their opponents. Uh, Kentucky will play Maryland, hopefully in the third round, and Kansas will be taken to the Irish, who will see the winner of Kentucky-Maryland. All right, now let's just move down to the West. Now, I'm rooting for Oregon. I'm a Duck fan, but honestly, Wisconsin too strong. I think they're going to get that far. Uh, and they're going to face North Carolina, who has a really easy schedule to the Sweet 16. Arizona is too talented to lose in the first two rounds, but that's where the, the, it's going to get interesting is I think they're going to play Baylor. Coach, Wisconsin is pretty good, but I look for Oregon to possibly pull off an upset and face North Carolina. Who does have an easy schedule? Arizona, they're way too talented to lose in the first two rounds, but they're going to face Baylor or Xavier uh, in, in the backside of that bracket. Now in the East, Villanova will play Louisville in the marquee third matchup. You can take that one to the bank. They'll both win the first two games. However, Michigan State's going to upset Virginia and they're going to play Oklahoma for the right to play the Villanova Louisville winner. Coach, you bet there's going to be some upsets, but this year it won't be Virginia. Instead, they'll be playing Providence. We'll be playing the Cavaliers and I agree with Villanova, but their opponent will be a very talented Northern Iowa Panthers. And then finally in the South, Duke will play the Utah Utes on this side of the bracket. And on the other side, one of my upset specials, UCLA, who's playing the best ball of the season right now, is going to pull the surprise as they will face Gonzaga in the round of 16. I like that UCLA pick. Well, I agree Duke and with Duke. Georgetown uh, is a potential upset for the Utah Utes, and the Hoyas will be the Blue Devils appointment, uh, opponent. I'm also going to pick Davidson to beat Gonzaga and then play the Iowa State Cyclones in the quarterfinals in the South. That's great. You're going to be a big fan of Steph Stephen Curry if you pick Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of Tahoe Sports Line. You can always join our Facebook page, but we'll see you next week. Good luck with your bracket.